Hi, this is the very first video of fractions. So first we will get ourselves introduced to fractions and then we will build on concepts. So what is a fraction? Fraction is actually a way to represent a part of a whole. Right? Suppose if you have a big pizza and you are taking one piece out of it. So how to represent that part, that piece which you have taken in numbers is called fractions. So suppose you want a chocolate, you ask for a chocolate from your mother. So she tells you that there is a chocolate in the fridge. You go there and take one cube out of it. And what you see in the fridge is a chocolate like this. This is a big bar of chocolate which has certain markings. This chocolate is actually has markings which divide this chocolate into eight equal parts. And since your mother has asked you to take one out of this, one part out of these eight parts, so suppose you have taken this part of the chocolate, you have removed this cube from the bar and you have eaten it. So if I ask you how much chocolate you had, so how will you represent it? You will say I have taken one part out of the chocolate which was divided into eight equal parts. Right? So the fraction you have taken is this which will mathematically be represented as 1 by 8. Right? Where this is the part you have consumed and this is the total number of parts in which the chocolate was divided. Right? So how do you say this? In general English, you say that you have taken one eighth part of the chocolate, right? And the way you represent one eighth part of the chocolate in numbers is written like this. One is the part which you have taken and eight is the total number of parts in which the chocolate was divided. And this is called fraction. Right? So the numbers written in this fashion like 1 by 8 is called fraction where this part written over the bar is called numerator and the number written below the bar is called denominator. Denominator actually represents the number of equal parts and numerator represents the number of parts you have taken or or the number of parts you are actually talking about. So this is all about fraction. In fraction you actually talk about a part of the whole. So in that case you have to divide the thing into equal parts. The parts have to be equal. This is very important. When you are talking in fractions, you have to divide the thing into equal parts. Suppose if you have a chocolate like this and I have made certain partitions like this. Which part will you prefer? You will prefer this part definitely because this is bigger. But this cannot be told as 1 out of 6. Here I have divided this chocolate into 6 parts but since these all these 6 parts are not equal this particular part of the chocolate this part of the chocolate cannot be called as 1 sixth of the whole. Right? So when you want to represent in terms of fractions you have to divide into equal parts. All the parts should be equal then only the fraction has its validity. So the most important thing in fractions is division should be equal. Right? And there are few more places where you can practice fractions like pizzas. Pizzas are available in three different sizes. Small, medium and there is a large size. Right? 
Small size pizzas are usually divided into four equal parts, right? And medium sized pizzas are usually divided into six equal parts, right? And large size pizzas are divided into eight equal parts, right? So if you eat one piece of this pizza, this will be called as one by four. You are taking one piece out of four pieces. This pizza is divided into four pieces. So if you eat this part of the pizza, this will be called one fourth of the pizza. And if you take the medium pizza and you eat this much part or one pie of the pizza, this will be called one sixth of the pizza. The fraction representing this part of the pizza is one by six. Similarly, if you have a large pizza and you are eating this portion of the pizza, this will be represented as one eighth of the pizza, right? The whole pizza is divided into eight parts and you have eaten one part. So this will be represented in terms of one by eight, right? So this is the representation of fractions when the thing or the object you are talking about is divided into equal parts. So this is how we represent fractions. And yes, one more thing, your test marks. Suppose you have a test of mathematics where the maximum marks were 10. You are a bright child, so you got 10 out of 10, right? Your teacher gives you marks like this. You have scored, this is what you have scored out of this maximum number of marks, right? Yes. So, how much marks you have got? You have got 10 out of 10 and this is also called full marks. You have scored full, right? But the friend who is sitting next to you, he has scored 7 out of 10. So, his score is 7 out of 10. This is definitely not full score and it is lesser than you, right? So when you compare fractions and the denominator is same in both the cases, you just have to compare numerators, right? This I'll be discussing later. Here I have mentioned it only to tell you which are the places where you come across the fractions.